small voices, when we have a lot of them, get very loud, okay? So we need to stay very quiet. Show me how you can have your eyes up here and quiet mouths. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Everybody up in the stands, thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited to have you here. We want to make sure that all the lessons that the kids are learning here, they get to take home, and you guys can talk about those things um, through, the, through the week and in the evenings and that kind of thing. So we're really glad that you're here. A couple of the same reminders in the audience, up in the stands, we would just ask that you stay quiet, um, set great role models for our kids and showing them how to be a good audience by sitting still. Uh, those bleachers are old and they're creaky, so if you move around very much, it makes a lot of noise. So we would just ask that you sit quietly um, and enjoy the show. We have decided we're not going to do any uh, restroom breaks unless it's a true emergency because that just causes a lot of disruption. So we would just ask that you sit quietly and enjoy the show. We're going to learn some more about honesty, right? We've been working on that this month. Okay, you guys enjoy the show. See you later. Hey everybody, welcome to Zebra Zone. We're so glad you guys are here, and if this is your first time parents, we're so glad you're here with us. We're just super excited that you're here to join us. This is a place where you kids get to bring your parents to learn. That's right, and every single month, we learn about a new character trait, and we get to practice it all night long, and what's really awesome is it's right now, we're going to see it in just a minute. Okay. Wow, okay Kelly, well I'm really glad to see you so excited today and helping us out. Let me tell you, Amy, you know, this is brand new month. I'm really excited about that. And it's almost spring. It's my very favorite month of the whole entire year. I'm really excited about that. And also, I had a lot of coffee today. Oh, you know what happened last time you drank too much coffee, don't you? Oh, I remember. I painted the entire outside of my neighbor's house. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Amy didn't ask me to. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, before Kelly does any more damage around here, let's go and ahead. Let's go ahead and we'll reveal this month's virtue. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if everybody will get ready with me, we oh, want to have let's it. do this. Let's do this. I got an idea. Let's do, um, we're going to do a drum roll. We're going to do a drum roll on our head. So everybody take your hands and go like this. Okay, that's different. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Uh, <clears throat> Kelly? Yeah? Uh, there's no definition up here. Amy, come on. The definition is right. Hey, Amy. Honey, there's not a definition up there. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, you didn't maybe happen to forget the definition? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't forget. I did it um, last night or what is this morning. I don't remember not doing it. Oh, I'm sure I did. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Oh, okay, okay. So how would you explain uh, the, the disappearance of of the definition. How would I know? I mean, hey, things sometimes just disappear. Sometimes things fade. They just, I don't know. Huh? Um, or maybe, I think it was that kid. I think that kid took it right there, you. Right there, yeah, Blondie, come on. Let's see him. I think that kid did it. Kelly, you're really gonna blame the disappearance of this definition on an innocent kid? Oh, trust me, this kid is not as innocent as he looks. Let me just tell you that, come here. Come on, here, buddy. Yeah, I think it was this guy right here. Oh, Kelly, this is ridiculous. No, listen, I was on Facebook last night. This guy right here, he posted how he wanted to steal the definition trait and he wanted to put it in his backpack and bring it to school for show and tell. That's what he said. You guys believe that? Well, you know, maybe we can at least get it up on the screen. What do you think, Mr. Holm? Can we get it up there? Okay, good. All right, well, let's say it together. Here we go. Honesty, choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. All right, Kelly. All right, so you're really telling me that this guy stole the honesty definition? Listen, Amy, the irony is not lost on me, okay? Trust me, it's, it's weird, I know. <laughs> Mr. Bard, did you take the honesty definition? Yeah, I didn't think so. You know, and that's an awesome example of telling the truth, which leads me to this week's life, uh, excuse me, this week's take home. And so, actually, because he's been telling the truth, I think I need to start by giving him our moment of truth sticker. And he gets the very first one. So let's give him a huge hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think he had any 
anything to do with it. But you know what, parents? This month, this next month coming up, if you have times where your kiddos are showing honesty, have these around your house, have them ready to go, and as you leave today, we're going to have them at the door. We'd love for you to really show your kiddos, hey, I'm proud of you for having a moment of truth. Now, Kelly. Yes? <clears throat> it's your moment. Okay. Okay, what really happened to the definition? Um, I don't remember. Kelly? Listen, here, this, I'll make you a deal. If I'm not telling the truth, then I think a herd of elephants is going to come straight through that door and plow me like a bug.
this gonna burn up? She's finished! Oh, she's as pretty as the day we pulled out of port there at North Fort Virginia. USS John F. Kennedy, I salute you. Wait a minute. Let's listen some. The American flag. Well, that don't that just cross your old oil pump. Luckily, I've got a backup. Yes. Oh, I salute you. Gordo, I'm teach. I'm telling you, man. Let me teach you how to hit. Soon you'll be hitting home runs like a rod. Well, not this year. But you know what I'm saying. Let me coach you. You'll make the team. But but me, I'm just not that good. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're good. Well, if, well then how come every time we play? <laughs> The other kids say, we'll take Gordo, but we get an extra out. Nah, don't listen to them. Listen to me. I'm telling you, I can make you so much good of nah. Here, show me your batting stance. OK. <laughs> oh, I knew that. I was just making sure you were paying attention. Uh-huh. All right, show me your batting stance again. Gordo, you're shaking like an iPhone on vibrate. You gotta get up in there. You gotta be confident. You gotta, you gotta strike fear into the pitcher's, the pitcher's eyes. <laughs> Bring it on, steak. <laughs> Good. It's bring it on meat. Oh, meat. I, I need that. Bring it on meat. <laughs> All right. Now I need to find a, a batting team. Put the baseball on. Uh, something like this. Oh, no. Uh, no, not this. This looks nice. It's all fragile. <laughs> no, nah, not this. Gotta find something, though. Okay, Vinny. Let me see if I got this straight. I hold the bat by the thin part. Yeah. And uh, my feet are shoulder width apart. Uh huh. And then I, I hold the bat back. Striking fear with the look in my eyes. Striking fear, yep. And here comes the pitch. And I swear. Nothing. I'm gonna go find that. 
Ship smashing woman right now!
I'm sorry. And that takes a really big person, so I'm very proud of you. Some kids have accidentally broken something. Have you ever done that, Zebby? Whoops, broke something. And instead of just blaming it on somebody else, they said, you know what, I broke this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And you know what, then we can, we can work past that, can't we? That's not a big deal. Some kids, when they do their chants, you know, some kids do chants like where they talk about how they're going to walk straight in line and they're going to do certain things. And then they actually follow through and did it. Just like that. Look at that. Just like that. So you guys have done an awesome job this month of showing honesty. And now it is time to do a drawing from all of those names in this bucket. And there's a lot. I'd say like 20. Don't you think? There's a lot. So we're going to find out who. Oh, you want to do a drum roll on your lap? That's good. Who is going to be the winner of the bicycle this month? All right, Debbie. This guy is a first or a second grader. He showed honesty by being honest and telling an adult that he had hid something in the library. And our bike this month is going to go to Alex Brown. Come on, Alex.
If someone asks you your future story, you can tell the truth. If someone asks you your future story, you can tell the truth. If your mom asks you if you can keep your bedroom, you don't tell them.
so true. I am so sorry for jumping the gun and blaming you. That was foolish of me. Foolish of me. Well, okay, I guess I'll, I'll accept that apology. Well, boys, let's hurry up and get this mess picked up and we'll head down to that. Hobby Hut, you can buy me a new model. I have to admit, my feelings were a little bit hurt when Gordo wasn't truthful with me, but hey, apology accepted. And Gordo, he's going to help me build that model again. I just hope that works out well, though. Grandpa Henry's right, you should always tell the truth. That way, you don't ever hurt nobody. Boy, did I learn a lesson about honesty. And from now on, I'm gonna always try to tell the truth. And, uh, and then I get to help Grandpa Henry build a new model. I hope that works out good. Boys and girls, I hope that you've learned a lot this month about honesty, okay? I need somebody that's gonna help me real quick. But I need you to think first. I need you to tell me a way that you can show honesty. Who's ready? Sitting on your pocket. Ella, come here. Come here. Come up here. Now, we talked all month about how honesty is telling the truth, okay? So you're in class, and you know that you didn't do your paper. And your teacher says, Ella, did you get your paper done? What, what do you think you should tell your teacher? I didn't. You didn't. And is it hard to tell the truth sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, it is hard. Because sometimes it's just easier because we don't want to look bad when we when we make a mistake or we mess up. But we need to always be honest. Do you have anything else you want to tell us about honesty? No. Thanks, Ella. All right, guys. I think we know what time it is. I think it's time that we're going to have to say goodbye. So let's get